Hello, 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 my lovely Libra. Welcome to this reading. My name is Mia, and we're going to find out what's coming for you this week, December 5th through to 11th. Libra, how are you doing? We have, yes, you have your full moon in Gemini in your ninth house. Foreign people, travel, positive experiences. What is going on? Travel, that's beautiful, isn't it? Yes, indeed. Now, Libra, let's have a look. Just don't be don't be disheartened because there will be some messages that might resonate and some that don't. You know what to do. Anyways, thanks so much for being here. Don't be shy. Subscribe and of course like and comment if you feel that way. No pressure. No pressure at all. You ready? Let's go. Travel and travel. Foreign people. Look. The star. Oh wow. Eight of Pentacles. Oh. It's interesting one. <laughs> Six of Wands and Chariot. Look, this is like two, two cards on the horse. So this is definitely movement is happening. You know, sometimes travel is physical as such, but this is kind of, things are really working out for you. Oh yeah. Um, we have Mercury that is in Capricorn from the December 6th into up to uh, 11th of February next year. And this is definitely regarding work as well. Work is involved big time, Libra. It is working out. Very good. Yes, very good. Now, Six of Wands and Chariot. You are not just going somewhere. You are literally going, I can do this. I'm going to do this. Try to stop me. <laughs> no one is going to stop me. No one and nothing is going to stop me. That's it. And that's the attitude. Six, seven, progression. Eight. Fabulous. You really have like the path being um, made out for you. And with the star card in, that is fabulous. Aquarius is here with you. And Cancer is here with you. What is going on? Where are you traveling? Like, you know what? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. I got this message here. And it's you going places. And that sometimes has been... What you when when once someone says oh you're going places, it feels like it's not you're going place. It's like you are actually achieving things, achieving interesting people, foreign people maybe people who are who have travelled or have more experience in their lives as well. Okay, and with the six of ones, you have achieved certain status. You're working hard. You're putting the job work in. You're putting the energy in. You're putting the hours in. Either this is work uh, at a company or for yourself. But you're really putting that that graft in, you know. No one can say you haven't done it, okay. And with the chariot, it's like, no, life. Yeah, life over matter, the mind over matter. Not letting that emotional kind of state to control you. This is really like, I need to get there. I really need to use my air signs kind of qualities and make this work. It's literally so important for you. I can't even stress. I, I feel your tension. You're really tense in a way. And look, even with the Queen of Cups, she's like looking at, um, at, at these two and saying, okay, I'm supporting you. You know, the balance is needed, but I can feel that there is a lot of... Oh, yeah, gotcha. Thank you. These two cards, look... I was saying that not letting the emotions run the show. However, allowing the life to go to flow through you. Because a star is having two shadows here. These are cups and these are cups. It's kind of like the water, which is energy. The life is flowing through. Life is moving on. So are you. You're moving on. Onto something bigger and better. And you've been granted the wish. You've been granted that time for you to... Cash in your victories. For some of you, you might be actually um, recognized big time, actually, maybe in public eye. And the luck is on your side. Look, and it's all good and great, but you are still working. You're still, and it's in a good place, in a good way. Because this, and um, Eight of Pentacles, look at the person's, uh, you know, like body language. The person is enjoying it. And they're very good at it. Very, very good at it. 
and kind of climbing up the ladder. This is very, very um positive. Look how Queen of Pentacles as well supporting. So there's a two queens as well. So there is a lot of mature and caring side. You are trying really to do things that really make you feel good. They really make you feel good and they make money. How good is that? And it is like a chariot. He would kind of contr not control, but kind of manage two names, the good and bad or the, the fear and love or whatever that is. It is a juggling act sometimes at the times. But you are really, you're putting everything, you're putting literally everything in it. There's nothing left. No, you are not leaving no energy behind. You are really, really, really wanting this to work. And you're putting every little inch of you into this. Intuition. I do like the high priestess because she's talking about keeping your own business to yourself. Minding your own business. And doing things that makes you happy. Kind of, in a way, the hermit would do. You know, kind of go within and see the spirituality. Where high priestess is kind of like, look... Go within and feel what makes you feel happy. And kind of feeling the life, you know, just not marching through. But really, with that emotional state, emotional guidance, you're achieving great things. And they're really paying off. Finally. Yes, indeed. Right. Yeah. Prosperity. Fabulous. It is coming. Oh, thank you. Oh. Upside down, but I don't read upside down for some reason, but night activity, night the ones, the fire, the fire of life, there's another, like, in, in, in <laughs> say it as it is, okay, on the typical tarot, that would be the person on a horse, so there's a lot of movement happening, there's a lot of things are taking place, a lot of activities happening as well. Roll up your sleeves. It's not going to be easy peasy week. Oh, the wisdom. The wisdom. The intuition. Look at the all. The intuition, your wisdom, your knowing. Surrender to the divine. By allowing the guidance as well. Through this, you're going to get there. Okay. To make your decision, ask yourself, which way brings me closer to my purpose? To my divine purpose. And which way, which way takes me away from it. So you might want to. Or you might need to take some decisions. And it will be versus money. Versus how you feel about it. Um, probably not an easy one sometimes. Because sometimes. Either one of them. Could be rather strong. But. That's where the chariot comes in. Hmm. It's having that nice balance, you know, having that nice balance of the financial stability and emotional and spiritual stability is crucial. Remain positive. And the mindset, absolutely, the mindset is big time. Right. Having good, having good time is, I have no wonder why the night ones maybe was coming upside down because it talks about real things so much going on. And maybe you've been forgetting about yourself that it's good time sometimes to breathe, have a night in or have a good night's sleep, you know, looking after yourself. Very important. Very, very important. Sleep really helps us to rejuvenate our bodies, our minds, you know. You can ask for guidance and, and say a prayer before sleep so your soul is safe. Because we sometimes travel to places, right? People, our souls come to visit us while we're sleeping because we are not consciously aware of it. Just say a prayer so you are in white light and protected. All right, my lovelies. Lovely, lovely Libra. Hard work is paying off big time. And you're going places. Self-made millionaire. Here we go. All right, my lovelies. I'm sending you love and light. Look after yourself and I'll see you in the next reading. Take care.